Hey lovely viewers and welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into an important topic that many couples consider as their relationship progress, moving in together. But before we jump into the script, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you never miss out on any more valuable relationship advice and more. Moving in together, it can be an exciting and a significant step in any relationship. It's a sign of commitment and shared dreams. But with this exciting journey also comes some potential red flags that you should be aware of. So let's explore them together. First up, communication breakdown. If you or your partner aren't effectively communicating before moving in, it can be a major red flag. Are you on the same page about expectations, responsibilities, and future? If not, it's essential to have those conversations before sharing the living space. Another red flag is rushing the decision. Moving in together should be a well thought out decision, not a rushed one. If you feel pressured or you feel like you're rushing into it because of external factors, it might be a sign to slow down. Ah, oh, finances. They can be the source of joy or stress. A major red flag is financial dismatch. If one partner earns significantly more than the other one, or there's a disparity in financial responsibility, it can lead to conflicts later down the road. It's crucial to discuss finances openly and honestly. Personal space is essential in any relationship. If you or your partner is reluctant to respect each other's personal space and boundaries, it could be a sign of trouble ahead. Everyone needs alone time or with friends, even when they're living together. Unresolved conflicts are a big red flag. Moving in together won't magically solve your problems. It can actually amplify them. If you're not addressing issues before living together, they're likely to resurface and potentially strain your relationship. Lastly, a lack of flexibility can be a significant issue. Living with someone means you'll need to adapt to their habits and preferences. If you or your partner isn't willing to compromise or adapt, it can lead to frustration and resentment. If you found the advice in today's video helpful and valuable, make sure to hit that like button right now and make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on any more valuable relationship tips. Get hot matches and more dates with the help from cupidgurus.com. If you're ready to take your dating life to the next level, then visit the website to book a dating coach today.